10 foods you have to try while traveling in France. French gastronomy is world famous for its quality and variety. They use large quantities of fresh, seasonal ingredients that can be bought cheaply in the supermarkets or directly from the producers. France has 22 regions, each with its own gastronomic and consuming traditions. Who hasn't heard of crispy baguettes, soft croissants, high quality French wines and cheeses, champagne or fresh green spices from the Provencal countryside? In 2010, French gastronomy was added by UNESCO to its list of the world's intangible cultural heritage. It is worth getting to know French cuisine a little better. Although they have so many fantastic dishes and it's very difficult to highlight only a few, let's see which are the 10 foods you have to try while traveling in France. French onion soup. French people don't consume much soup, but this onion soup is extremely popular all over the country. Its story goes all the way back to Roman times. Onions were a very common vegetable at the time, as they could be obtained cheaply and their cultivation did not require any special expertise. However, this is why it was mainly considered as a food of the poor. The development of its modern form can be traced back to the middle of the 18th century. From that time, instead of water, they started cooking onion soup in beef broth to make it more delicious. French onion soup is based on some meat stock and plenty of caramelized onions. They serve onion soup traditionally with either croutons, toasted bread cubes, or a slice of bread with melted cheese to make it more hearty. A vegetarian version also exists, in which the meat broth is replaced with tasty vegetable broth. It's important that the crispy croutons or slices of bread are placed on top of the soup just before consumption, so that they do not get soaked but complement the onion soup with a crunchy texture. Croque-monsieur, croque-madame, croque-mademoiselle. Croque-monsieur is really simple but amazingly juicy and nutritious sandwich with ham and generous amounts of cheese. It first appeared on the menus of cafes and bars in Paris in the early 20th century. Traditionally, two slices of sweet-tasting bread are stuffed with ham slices and a good deal of cheese, which is usually emmental or gruyere. A little salt and pepper will serve as a seasoning, then cheese will be added to the top, then the sandwich can go into the oven. They don't cook it for long, just until the cheese on top melts and the bread becomes a little crispy. It can be consumed on its own, but is offered in some places with bechamel sauce. In its regional versions, the sliced breads are first dipped in beaten eggs, grilled and then stuffed and toasted a little more in the oven. There is also a version of croque monsieur called croque madame. This is basically the same as croque monsieur, with the difference that after the sandwich is done, a poached or lightly fried egg is placed on top. The vegetarian version is called croque mademoiselle, with cucumbers and chives instead of ham, accompanied by a large amount of melted cheese and served with salad. Foie gras. Foie gras is a real luxury dish made from goose or duck liver. According to the French law, foie gras belongs to the protected cultural and gastronomic heritage of France. This rich, slightly buttery tasting delicacy is available whole, called foie gras entier. It can be fully cooked, semi-cooked or fresh. The latter version can rarely be found outside France. But they can be made into mousse or pâté, which must contain at least 50% foie gras. It can also be used to make parfait, which must have a foie gras content of at least 75%. These products have a longer shelf life and can be purchased in bottles or canned. Foie gras can be eaten cold or hot, usually as an appetizer, with crispy slices of bread and little sweet fruit, pear or fig. But traditionally, they are cooked over low heat for a long time, flavored with truffle or sometimes cognac, to make the taste even more intense and special. Cocovin. Cocovin is a typically French dish. Its name means rooster or cock with wine. In France, it was quite common for families to keep poultry for their meat and eggs, usually a few chickens and a rooster. The rooster was kept until he was old and could no longer perform his duties. Then he was slaughtered and consumed. However, the meat of the old rooster proved to be quite dry, for which the addition of wine to the food became the solution. The meat of the rooster is cooked in wine, usually lardon, mushrooms, carrots and optionally garlic and onions are added. 
Burgundy red wine is used for the traditional coca vine, but the local wines are favorably added in different parts of France. The rooster pieces are first allowed to rest in the alcoholic marinade for a day or two to take over the taste and the acids in the wine to soften the meat. This helps to make the end result really tender and juicy. The pieces are then rolled into flour, fried on hot fat, and then the vegetables and spices are added. Pour over the wine marinade and chicken stock and bake on low heat for a few hours. Well done, the juice is thickened with fat mixed with the flour. In some regions, blood is added and cooked with what thickens the food. When serving, they usually add toasted mushroom heads, fried bacon and shallots as a side dish. Pipake. Pipake or feed packets are found everywhere in the southeastern regions of France, but are mainly the culinary specialities of Marseille and Sisteron. Its origins can certainly be traced back to a time when there was a great poverty in the country and people were specifically striving to ensure that nothing was wasted and all parts of the animals were consumed. This juicy dish is made from sheep's feet and stuffed sheep's tripe which is cooked together for a few hours, making the meat and offal so crumbly that it melts in your mouth. According to some chefs, it's worth cooking a day before the planned consumption, as it should be cooked for about seven hours. They put the sheep's feet at the bottom of the pot and then make the stuffed sheep's tripe packs that are placed on it. Pour over white wine and tomato sauce and cook this mixture. The offal is first cut into equal squares with onion, parsley, garlic and fatty pork belly pieces placed in the middle of each. They're then rolled up and wrapped to get small packages of stuffed offal. To make the sauce tastier, they add carrot pieces, sometimes potatoes, but it also happens that the potatoes are cooked separately and served as a side dish next to the pipake. Aligo. Aligo is a popular dish in France in the central and southern parts of the country. Records of it date back to the 12th century, but at that time it was made with bread instead of potatoes and was a favorite food of tired pilgrims. Aligo is made from mashed potatoes into which the cheese is mixed even hot and butter, cream and garlic are often added. The taste and quality of the cheese is a decisive factor, strongly influencing the end result. A local cheese called Tom de la Gloire is most commonly used, which is very difficult to obtain outside France. The ingredients are mixed until a flexible, smooth mixture is finally obtained. In France, it is traditionally served with fried sausage, veal, lamb or even pork meat. Guaranteed, once you taste Aligo, it will be difficult at any time to choose the usual mashed potatoes instead. Bouillabaisse The bouillabaisse is an extraordinary French fish dish, set off from the ports of Marseille and is now one of the best known dishes in the Provence region. It was originally the stew that fishermen cooked from the fish that they couldn't sell to either restaurants or markets. It can be made from any type of fish, keeping in mind that there should be at least three types of fish in the bouillabaisse. However, it's not uncommon for them to be made from five or six types of fish, which, however, are not put into the pot at once. They start with the thickest slices first, then when boiled add the next variety and so on until they reach the last pieces of fish. In addition to fish, bouillabaisse often contains mussels, sea urchin or octopus. What sets this dish apart from other fish dishes is that traditionally, after the cooking time has elapsed, the food is filtered through and the soup and seafood are served separately. The soup is usually served with toasted bread slices and a so-called ruil sauce consisting of mayonnaise, garlic, olive oil and saffron. Ratatouille Ratatouille is a typical Mediterranean dish made from vegetables. It is popular in the south of France, especially around Nice. There are many local variations, but each includes tomatoes, onions, garlic, zucchini, eggplant and bell pepper. And these are flavored to perform with a bunch of fresh green spices, which can also be varied. They prefer using fresh marjoram, basil, bay leaves and thyme. Vegetables are first fried separately, thus ensuring that none of them overcook. When all is done, they put them all together in a large pot and cook until they get a soft, smooth dish. It can be eaten both hot and cold, alone or served with couscous or rice. In the Mediterranean, ratatouille is not a dish based on a specific recipe. Virtually all similar vegetable dishes are given the same name. 
since each is a little different from the others, we can say that the term ratatouille does not mean the food itself, but rather a way of making a delicacy, which is full of vegetables. Escargot. Escargot is one of the finest delicacies in the world. The word itself means snail in French language. There are plenty of snail species, but only land snails are used for this dish. Its meat is very healthy, as it is low in fat and also high in protein and water. First, the snails are taken out of their house, fried in butter and wine, and then put back in their house. It's usually served as an appetizer, with the sauce in which it is fried, or sprinkled with garlic butter and a little fresh green spice. They are served on special plates with indentations on them, in which the snails are placed. To consume them, they add a specially designed tong and escargot fork that makes it easy to take the snails out of their house. Eclair Eclair is an oblong pastry that appeared in France in the 19th century and has enjoyed unbroken popularity ever since. In the French language, eclair means flash of lightning, which funnily suggests that this delicacy does disappear from the plates within lightning speed. The dough strips squeezed out of the piping bag are baked until they are crispy on the outside and the inside becomes a little hollow. When cooled, they are filled with chocolate or vanilla custard, or whipped cream and coated with chocolate. This is the classic version, however, there is a great variety of fillings and toppings. They can be filled with fruity or pistachio cream, chestnut puree, and instead of chocolate, a thick caramel cream can be placed on top. Despite the plethora of variations, classic chocolate is the most popular, as evidenced by the fact that June 22nd is the National Chocolate Eclair Day. <laughs>